Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I sent the KE off to my mate uh, Blake from BFAB uh, to get a bunch of work done. Um, so, just picked the car up, it's all done. I'm so happy with the work that he's done. He's done a killer job. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you guys where we're at at the moment. The front bash bar, we've got a custom RAS support. Uh, I've had the knuckles cut and shut. It's got a fair bit more lock now. Still a few little things I need to do with that though. Uh, the rear bash bar as well. Yeah. Got our cage oh. welded in. Well, that's actually a bolt-in cage, but yeah. Just gotta paint all that and um, yeah. So happy that this is uh, out of the way finally, so. Basically, first job, I'm um, gonna pull the K out and just sort of clean the shed up a little bit. It's a bit of a pig side at the moment. Just sort of wanna make sure I have everything and yeah, not missing anything and all my tools are away and basically just the whole shed's nice and neat. So do that first and then uh, he'll get stuck into the car. So the little Corolla's back in, the nice clean shed, semi-clean anyway. Alrighty, so it's time to pull the front end apart, um, so I can put the longer rack ends in. So as you can see, there's like barely any link there. Um, so I gotta get longer rack ends, which are them, and I gotta put different tie rod ends in it as well. So we got both sides off now. Um, another thing I need to do is put some longer wheel studs in it. Gonna smash out a bit of body work today. Just stuff that I can do while I'm waiting for sort of the right parts and that. I have to dig out my RA60 rack ends. They're in here somewhere. And I'll probably put those in tonight. Um, yeah, I'll find them, slap them in. But yeah. Just uh, enjoy me doing the most boring thing to a car ever. So I've got one of the doors done, um, it came up okay. It's not too bad, that's all cleared and everything now. I can't really do it with a gun again, cause, you know, at a little shed, if, if I spray it with a gun here, it'll make the fumes go through all the other sheds and it'll just over spray everywhere. So, this is what it is, you know. I thought that today I would get the engine bay out of the way. So, basically I got to strip down the engine bay, uh, pull everything out, cover everything up that I'm not going to take out um, and then yeah give it a little bit of a prep paint it um, like I said it sucks not being able to use a gun because ideally I would like to and usually I would but rattle boys are gonna have to do the job for now so yeah I will do it again someday but yeah it's better than not doing it all I think so yeah so we'll start stripping down the engine bay and then getting it all ready to paint and then get some paint on it today. So here yeah, we get stuck into that.
Alright, so I've just deleted the battery tray that was here. Um, I had to literally cut it out because it's got little spot welds in it, but my drill wasn't really doing the trick. So I've just completely cut it out. Now I'm just going to fill all these holes in. Alrighty, so I've primed the engine bay for the second time now. Ready for the main coat now. So, yeah, we'll get stuck into that. Alrighty, so it's a bit of a mess in here at the moment because I've been doing so much stuff and haven't had enough time to clean, but engine bay's all done. I uh, decided to go with white uh, just for a few reasons. I think it looks pretty tidy and fine oil leak straight away. Uh, it was already white as well, so I think it should work fine. Um, I, was, I did want to do charcoal sort of, but um, you know, I already had white and yeah, i got a few reasons. Um, that battery tray there, I cut that out and just bogged that smooth. Um, yeah, overall came up pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it. Rear quarters are done. So I got to a stage where like I'd just been bogging and sanding it so much that I got sick of it. So it's not the best in the world, but it'll do the job just fine. Um, yeah, came up pretty good. This side, sort of not as much. It's a little bit rough around the edges, but all this was so bad before and yeah to be honest i'm just i'm over body work i don't want to do it anymore so this will do just fine for now yeah. today i've just been making this uh that sort of b-wave style wing that i bought making that fit um basically it was just absolutely horrible it didn't sit on the boot at all properly so i had to chop like all this here chop a big section off there and it was originally about that much longer I had to chop all that because it was sitting like a like a full drag wing so sort of yeah sit it the way that I wanted it to um, and just gave that a few coats of paint come up pretty good it, it had like cracks in it and all sorts which I was yeah really not happy with for a brand new wing um, but that's all good um, so yeah I have a just quick little clean up um, put the front end back together sit the motor in mount that b-wave wing on put my new tail lights in um, yeah, it's all coming together finally, so yeah, getting really excited now. Alright, so I'm just going to be sitting the motor in there to get a sort of an idea of how I'm going to do my manifold and things like that and uh, cooler piping and everything. Um, so yeah, we'll get stuck into that and then uh, put the rest of the front end on. Alright, so I got the motor in there now. Um, yeah, I'll put all the front end back on first as that'll be staying on. Um, but yeah. Uh, making progress. Alrighty, so motors sitting in there, front ends all back together. Um, next thing I need to do, which I've been holding off, is painting the interior. Um, that'll be the uh, next thing to do. Uh, and now that the motor's in there, you can get measurements of manifold and everything. Um, and just see where everything's going to sit. Intercooler piping as well. Rear end's all done. So we've got our B-Wave style wing on there. New tail lights in. Rear bar's just sitting there at the moment. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to mount that. Yeah, pretty happy with how it's all coming along. Um, so yeah, that'll probably do for today. Just pack up and yeah. Cheers for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next one.